Every golf ball manufacturer nowadays is putting some sort of line on the golf ball. We're going to do a drill today to see just how effective they really are. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we're on the putting green and we're gonna do a little bit of a fun, unique drill today. If you've purchased golf balls in the last few years, you've probably noticed an alignment aid on there, some sort of line uh, drawn on there by the golf ball manufacturer. Um, they're there to help you out and we're gonna see just how much they help out today with a little bit of a drill here, hitting some putts with and without lining up the ball using the lines on the golf ball. Today we have Callaway Chrome Soft X Triple Track Golf Balls. We're gonna hit some putts using the triple track technology to line up our shots and then we're gonna hit some putts without using the line. And so Thomas, first of all, do you use a alignment aid on your golf ball when you're putting and how effective do you think it is? Uh, yes, I actually have been using this triple track line golf ball for about a year, uh, lining myself up, especially on short putts. On the longer putts, anything that's really over 10, 15 feet, I usually don't use a line, um, just because I'm focusing a little bit more on speed. Mm -hmm. um, but shorter putts for sure, I, for, just for confidence, I wanna make sure I'm lining myself up straight but it is important that you do line yourself up straight. There's no point using this line if it's not yeah. lined up straight anyway. So this will be an interesting test because my putting hasn't been great recently. I've been using a line. I thought about maybe going a little bit non-linear without the line just to see what, what happens. So we'll, uh, we'll compare some putts here from five and 10 feet and we'll see whether I should be putting with an iron or you should be putting with a line or not. All right, I'm ready to hit some putts here. Hopefully I can make some more today, huh? All right, well, let's see who can make the most putts. Bang. I just misread that, I think. Push. <laughs> you made one, right? I made two, actually. Okay. I just rammed it in the back of the cup oh, there. Thank God, he's got three. want to lip out. I must say every putt's been really good without the line. That's nasty. All right, how many? Three out of 10, then two out of 10. Same as me. Yeah, look at that. All right, well, Thomas, we just hit 20 putts. Um, th I made three out of 10 with the lined up with the triple track, the Chrome Soft X ball lined up, and I was two out of 10 without it, just throwing the ball down, quick read and hit. Um, and now I will say this, out of the, the 10 putts that I hit not lining it up, I felt like five to six of them were dead at the hole and they ended up not being, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious when I say I hit at least half those putts thinking I was dead center of the hole and it wasn't. So, <laughs> which is a fascinating to me because I didn't actually, I'd never really thought it'd be that big of a difference, but it, to me it was on those 10 footers. Yeah, and I was batting at the exact same average as you. I made three with the line and two without the line, but the same thing, I felt more comfortable without the line from 10 feet. Even though I didn't show in the total numbers, a lot of them were lipping out right, yeah. up, right on the edge. I felt more comfortable with my routine. I felt like when I was standing over that triple track, I was really focusing on making sure, am I lined up? Do I need to square that club face or not? Yeah. And I felt like my routine was much smoother and I would guarantee it would be shorter because I'm standing over the ball, looking at the target, and then I'm kind of pulling the trigger. Yeah as opposed to having that triple track line there, which second guessing I was kind of second guessing yeah. a little bit. And then once I started missing some putts, it was all over. So well, with these my, five my footers confidence now, went down. With these five footers now, I'm sure we'll see maybe a bigger difference here because those are the putts that really, the, the alignment really helps. Well, let's find out. Let's go. Ooh, used all of it. It's in the bottom of the hole. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Well, I gave you all my love and I gave you all my trust and I gave you everything that you need. But you only told me lies and you made me. That one for 10? Yeah. Moneyball. 10 out of 10. What? Well done. Just happened.
One for two. I'm one for four without the line. I tug that hard. Six out of ten. Oh, it's seven. And nine. All right, so Thomas, I think for me the big takeaway after this, so I made actually all ten from you killed it. five feet with yeah. the uh, lining the ball up, and then I went seven out of ten without lining it up. The big thing for me is confidence. I mean, with the, especially the shorter putts, you know, four to five feet, um, you can almost tell right off the bat when you line it up, you already know if it's going to go in or not, you know? And with the ones where I didn't line it up, I just dropped the ball and hit it. It was, you really didn't know yet until you watched the ball actually. So there's a confidence element to me that I think is just huge for putting. I mean, we know, you talk to Larry, you talk to any of these experts, confidence is so key with putting and I think you get a nice boost with just by lining the ball up. Yeah, I think I'm with you there. On the shorter putts, I would also agree I would probably be better using a line. I'd say once I start going five, six feet over, that's when maybe I can get away from being a little linear and maybe a little bit more of seeing the ball go in the hole and seeing the, seeing the roll as yeah. opposed to just a line right at the edge of the hole, a line yeah. in the middle of the hole and just hitting it there. Because that's when you're starting to see a little bit of break. Yeah. So when, within five feet, it's, there's really not much break. Here, we're pretty much right edge at the very most or left edge at the very most. When you're putting further away, there's going to be more break. And yeah. that way you can maybe can play the break on the green. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, I think that's the big thing here. And, and you know, for me, again, I, I made three more putts from, uh, you know, the short range four to five footers just by lining my ball up with. Now we should mention all these manufacturers have different ways of creating alignment aids on the golf ball. The triple track is probably the most noticeable one out there really with the three lines. Um, so that could be part of the way, you know, this test went. And this test isn't super scientific by any means. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, there's, you know, the Pro V1 and Titleist has their alignment aid, um, you know, you tailor-made TP5s, Strixon, Z-Star, and Z-Star XV. I mean, any golf ball out there, there's a little bit of an alignment aid, some sort of arrow on the ball. Uh, but I think to, for me, and I've done it for a while now, lining up the ball, it just gives me that extra sense of confidence knowing that I've looked at the putt, I've lined up the, uh, you know, the line I want to use. And then right away when you putt, and you can see with your, the alignment aids on your putter, you can see right off the bat if your ball's online or not. Yeah, and that's the other piece is putters these days, especially a lot of mallets, mm -hmm. they have those alignment aids. So it's got those hidden lines on there, those lines aimed, what you gotta do is line yourself up at it and yeah. hopefully everything matches up and then go straight on that line. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the other thing to keep in mind too is golf balls, they do custom as, as well. So for example, tight this, you can customize the type of lines you want on your ball. Okay. And you can also draw a line on your ball too. Mm -hmm. So there's like a, a little half moon thing that you can kind of put on, it's got a line, you can draw a line right on your, on your yeah. ball and line up that way too. So you don't have to pay for the golf ball that already has the line on it. Yeah, and you can also play around with different lines. You know, there's different designs you can draw on there. There's different prints you can have on there. So, I mean, there's all kinds of different ways, but bottom line here, at least from what our conclusion is, lining up your ball with some sort of line, whether it's, you know, designed on there by the manufacturer or you uh, put on there yourself, it can really help you give that extra confidence boost. And also simply with your alignment, that's one of the biggest parts of putting. Yeah, I'd say especially with those short putts. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're finishing out from inside five feet, some people don't even finish out, but if you're finishing out, you got to make sure you're lined up at your target. Otherwise, what's the, what's the purpose? Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, as we say so many times, you know, putts are what, 40 something percent of your shots out on the golf course. So making sure you're lined up adequately at the hole or at your target is essential. And so uh, golfers, if you um, are interested in, maybe you need a new putter, maybe more alignment aids on your putter, you get to stop in a second swing. Or of course you can talk to us as well about golf balls and the alignment aids as well. Uh, on golf balls that are out there. So Thomas, thanks for joining today. Um, we learned a lot and I think the conclusion is line up your ball when you get the chance on the green.